Welcome everyone. In this walkthrough we'll go through titrations and how results from these experiments are recorded. I'll also explain how the results are processed to find an unknown concentration. This video relates to a BTEC Level 3 Applied Science Practical, but it is also relevant to A-level chemistry students. Let's get started. A titration is a practical procedure. The aim of the procedure is to find the concentration of a solution. The volume of the solution of unknown concentration has to be known. The concentration and volume of the other reagents also has to be known. You will need a balanced equation for the reaction. A pipette is used to transfer a known volume of one reagent to a conical flask. Volumetric pipettes measure volume to a high degree of precision. An indicator is added to the conical flask. This will change colour at the end points of a neutralisation reaction. The initial burette reading is measured. The other reagent is added from the burette until there is a colour change in the conical flask. The final burette reading is then taken. All burette readings must be recorded to two decimal places. The bottom of the meniscus is either on a line or between two lines. The final number of a burette reading is either 0 or 5. Pause the video and see if you can read off each of these four burette readings. The meniscus is shown in red. Reading from left to right, these burette readings should be recorded as 0.45 cm cubed, 0.50 cm cubed, 4.60 cm cubed, and 42.05 cm cubed. The titer is the volume of reagents added to reach the end point. The rough titer is used so that you know where to add the reagent slowly as you approach the end point for the accurate titers. Each titer is calculated by subtracting the final burette reading from the initial burette reading. Concordance accurate titers are within 0.20 cm3. The average titer is the average of concordant titers. Never include the rough titer to calculate the average titer. If you do not have concordant titers, take the average of the two closest accurate titers. Titration results are recorded in a table like the one shown. The rough titer is sometimes called the trial. Pause the video and see if you can complete the table and work out the average titer. Remember, all titration readings must be recorded to two decimal places. Concordant titers are indicated with a tick. The average titer or mean titer is 21.75 cm3 in this case. Here is an example of a titration between sodium carbonate and HCl. In this case, the sodium carbonate is a standard solution. You will have made this in the previous practical, so you will know its concentration. Pause the video and read the procedure carefully. Read the question, pause the video, and try and work out the concentration of the hydrochloric acid using the data given. First, we have to complete the table of results. Remember, all burette readings must be recorded to two decimal places. Titrations 1 and 2 are concordance, so the mean titer is 25.75 cm3. The balanced equation shows that two moles of hydrochloric acid react with one mole of sodium carbonate. It's a 2 to 1 reaction. The method to work out the concentration of the standard solution of sodium carbonate is given in a different video. There is a link in the description. The amount of sodium carbonate in moles is found using concentration and volume. Volume must be in decimeters cubed. To convert from centimeters cubed to decimeters cubed, divide by 1000. The amount of sodium carbonate in the volumetric flask at the start of the reaction is 0 0.00. 12642 moles. Next, we use the reacting ratio of 2 to 1 to work out the amount of HCl required for neutralization. This is equal to 0 0.0025284 moles. Finally, we work out the concentration of HCl using amount divided by volume. The volume of HCl required for neutralization is the average titer. This works out to be 0.0982 moles per decimeter cubed. 
Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Post in the comments if you have any questions or suggestions. Take care.